Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for the longest cleaning video ever, but that just means that this new house clean with me is going to give you so much cleaning motivation, so let's just get started. You might be the one that truly get me And I might be the one you really want And I feel it too But you don't know what I've been going through Tell me that you're different This is when you try to make me fall Convince me it's true And that is why you want me like you do But you didn't even have to try Cause you can start a fire without a spark I recently transformed this coffee table using chalk paint and also just transformed this room in general during my DIY living room makeover. I actually had a whole makeover series in this space and it has me feeling like I'm living in a brand new home, which is why I called this a new home clean with me. Look at this huge pile of mail sitting here. While I've been filming all of these DIY makeovers, I haven't been checking the mailbox. So this is like a week or a week and a half worth of mail that I haven't gone through. Plus I think, I'm pretty sure this is my Cricut Joy, it says it on the outside. And then I think this might be some Cricut vinyl. I ordered a Cricut Joy and I've got some organization projects to do. And then also I am using it to make some Christmas gifts and Christmas cards and stuff. Kinsley and I are going to use it. So I'm really excited about that. I think I might unbox it just to see what it looks like. But I'm going to go ahead and go through all of this and get it all sorted so that I can recycle anything or deal with anything that needs to be dealt with and just get this pile out of the way. I'm going to link all of those DIY makeover videos down in my description box for anybody who has not seen them yet and wants to go back and watch them. They were all really satisfying transformations and I know that you will love them. Fine time. Just want the mood to be right. Keeping the low in the night, yeah. So long. Since I get a glimpse of a light. It's blood, bring out my eyes Oh, oh, we should open up a window Oh, oh, I can't see clear Oh, oh, at least I know how to window To window Cause it's just my habits Look at my new Cricut Joy! It's so cute! I'm so excited to use this bad boy. I'm not going to unbox it right now because we are going to be leaving on vacation in just a couple days. So there's not really a point in unboxing it. But oh my goodness. And look at all of my little accessories. I got some vinyl to be able to do those organization projects. And then these are like the insert cards that I was talking about to be able to make some Christmas cards with Kinsley this year. Some more vinyl. Some pens more insert cards it is so exciting oh i'm so excited okay but i have all of this here i think i'm just gonna put this in my room like this and i will unbox it when we get back from vacation 
I also wanted to show you guys, this is what I was watching while I was opening up all my mail. Ashley and Chase and Savannah just bought a new house. They sold their house and they're building a new one and I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited for them and this is a huge step. So if you don't know already or if you haven't congratulated them, definitely head over to Ashley's channel, Till Vacuum Do Us Part or their vlog channel, Ashley and Chase Vlogs, and say congratulations to them because this is so exciting. If you need a friend, yeah, yeah Fake one Staying until the end Yeah, I know how to play pretend I am so in love with our new living room furniture and I'm trying my best to keep it looking new for as long as possible. So I have been vacuuming it every single time that I vacuum our carpets, which is almost every single day to be honest, and just keep it free of pet hair and debris and keep it looking nice and new. Now that I have this all cleaned up and looking pretty, I thought I would give you guys a mini tour. I swear this looks like a completely different house, like a brand new house and not just a brand new room. It really has changed the whole vibe of our home to do these DIY makeovers. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to give you a little tour because I've been getting a lot of questions about where things are from, so it's all from Target. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It would that would be a really quick tour, but a lot of it is from Target. So here in the living room, actually, this chair and ottoman is from Target, as well as the rug here. The couch is from the Restore, and then I refinished the same coffee table we had before. I brought that plant out of Kinsley's bedroom. The clock was from Hobby Lobby Spring Clearance. I made the blanket ladder, but all of the blankets on it are from Target. And then I thrifted this little basket down here a long time ago, and both of the pillows in it were from Home Goods on clearance. I think I got them each for like three or four dollars. And then <laughs> this little sign up here that says Love Builds a Happy Home is from Kirkland's. And then the lamp is something we already had and I just spray painted it with Rust-Oleum metallic oil rubbed bronze, I think. But that is this part in the living room. And like I said, a lot of it is from Target. If you see anything you like, you can check my description box for links. I will try to remember to link as much as possible. Over here in the new entryway, I actually built that shelf and that bench and the um, jacket hooks there. Everything on top of the shelf is either from Hobby Lobby or Target. And then this key hook here is part of the Hearth and Hand collection that is currently available at Target. It's really affordable and really cute. I actually like it a lot. The pillows down here. Sorry, the pillows down here are all from Target. These two are currently available and this was a dollar spot find back in like the summertime, I think. And then this rug is also from Target. And then I have been getting so many questions about this shoe rack and we absolutely love it. But unfortunately, we found it on clearance at Target over six months ago and we picked it up knowing we were gonna do this project and it's been discontinued. I can't find it online anywhere. It's not available to purchase anymore. But if you ever find one like it, get it, because it's amazing. We really, really love it a lot and would highly recommend. On the other side of the room, here is our new fireplace area, and you guys, I am absolutely 
obsessed. I am so happy with how this turned out. But anyway, this ladder shelf was something we already had over in the living room part and I just moved it over here. I originally got it from Kohl's though, so I'll have that linked. All of the decor on it is probably from Target too, or I made it. And then over here on our mantle, we just have these candlesticks that are from Target like six years ago. They don't make them or sell them anymore. The little ceramic houses are from Hobby Lobby. And then the Feels Good to Be Home sign is from the Hearth and Hand Collection at Target right now. These peel and stick tiles that I used on the mantle area, oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. The camera does not do it justice. Like they look pretty on camera, but they are breathtaking in person. And they were surprisingly really affordable. I got them from Hobby Lobby. And then down here, my Magnolia basket came from TJ Maxx on clearance like almost a year ago now. I think I paid six bucks for it. They don't make this one anymore either and I can't find it anywhere online. The blanket came from Target a long time ago. And then those are just my little fire pokey things. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, check the description box if you see anything that you like or you want to check out. I'll do my best to link as much as possible, but you guys know I like to repurpose things that I already have and do everything on a budget, so some of this stuff probably isn't available anymore. But I'm just going to move on over here. You can see this is our old entryway table and it's just got crap piled all over it. So I have these two totes I'm going to use for fall decor, and then I'm going to declutter some of this stuff as well. We're going to list the console on Facebook Marketplace and try to sell it for like 10, 15 bucks. But anyway, I need to go through all this stuff, decide what we're donating, what we're keeping, and pack away the things that we're keeping because I can't get into my linen closet until I do that. You know that I'm a keep it cold. With you I feel like breaking rules on the edge looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Throughout this video, as I clean the rooms that have recently had a makeover, I am going to follow that up with a mini room tour. But if you want to see more tips and tricks for how I saved money or what my total budget was, then head over to my Instagram. I have some saved Instagram story highlights on my profile and it gives all of that information. My handle is at lovinglifeismegan and it'll also be linked down in the description box. Right, so I got that all cleaned out. I'm going to take a picture and list it on Facebook Marketplace. Hopefully it'll sell today. Also that round little shelf behind it, I'm gonna list on Facebook Marketplace. But I'm going to declutter these items here. So I've just got this little like pushpin board, the clock that used to be hanging in our living room, the curtain that was next to the living room window, these two like stationary or makeup containers this little door stop this probably shouldn't be over here and this little decorative plate but i'm going to have derek take those out to the car for me and i'll probably have him list this stuff for me as well since i'm in the middle of cleaning but now i think i'm just going to go back there and tackle my bathroom it's not like completely out of control but here, I'll just take you in and show you. Um, I have all of these towels that I need to put away and hand towels to hang up. The girls, gosh, I hate cleaning out sinks, but the girls always get toothpaste everywhere, so I gotta clean that. And then I'll probably just scrub out the toilet real quick and stuff and then move on to their bedrooms. Mm -hmm. 
We're falling out, we've reached disaster Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we fading But I know, I know that we can save it I absolutely hate cleaning out sinks. I think it is so gross and it is definitely my least favorite chore to do. I would much rather clean toilets or floors than clean out sinks. I know I cannot be alone, but I want you guys to tell me down in the comments what is your least favorite chore to do and what is your most favorite chore to do. Like the waves pull you down underwater. So this is Sawyer's room and for anybody who doesn't know, Sawyer is my two-year-old daughter. I recently did a makeover in here for her and I did her bedroom in one video and her closet in a second video and both of them turned out amazing. She is completely in love with this space and plays in here more than she ever has before. I will show you both of those spaces but first I need to tidy everything up because it was a complete disaster. When this video posts, we will actually be on a family vacation, so you're seeing clips right now of me packing Sawyer's clothes, and a little bit later, you'll see clips of me packing Kinsley's. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights For our vacation, we are actually driving down to Florida and driving back home. And we're going to take our time getting down there and coming back. We've got a few YouTube friends that we want to meet and we're going to be staying in different states. But we booked all of our travel through Airbnb and this was our first time ever booking an Airbnb and I was surprised at how easy it was to find spaces that allowed dogs since we are bringing both of our pups with us and also how affordable it was. I don't know why we have never planned trips like this sooner but I do have a link I think through Airbnb it's available for anybody's account but I think if you book with that link you get some kind of discount and I could get a discount on my next trip so if you are interested or planning a trip I'm gonna go ahead and leave that link down in the description box and we can all just help each other out to save some money you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down
I thought that I'd give you guys a little tour in here as well since this is also a new space that I just recently made over. This is Sawyer's bedroom. Sawyer is my toddler. If you are new here, she's two years old. And we recently did a makeover in here and in her closet, but I get a lot of questions about it every time it's on camera. So I thought I'd show you. We actually picked up her nightstands off of Facebook Marketplace and I spray painted them and spray painted the hardware as well. And then her touch lamps came from Target. This beautiful, I think it's called Rattan mirror, actually came from TJ Maxx. We got it almost a year ago now, found it on clearance, but I did find one that looks exactly like it on Etsy for a really affordable price. So if it's still available, I'll try to link it for you. I cannot find her other um, pillowcase, but her bedding, like her duvet, her comforter, her sheets, pillows, all of that, her mattress, that all came from Lull, and I do have a link that will get you a discount if you want some Lull bedding or a Lull mattress. All of these pillows and her little ballerina came from Target, as well as the quilt that we have on top. And a lot of people seem to think that this is giraffe print, but it's not. It's actually cheetah print. It might just look like giraffe because it's that mustard yellow color everywhere. Um, but that came from Target also, as did her little throw blanket down here. She already had this bookcase, and I just painted it white. And she already had pretty much everything on here as well. We reused some organization that she already had. This little one in the middle is new. I got it on clearance at Home Goods, and then this large box over here I got from Goodwill for two dollars. <laughs> I haven't figured out a good way to store these larger toys. I was thinking of trying to put them under the bed, but there isn't enough clearance for it, so I'll have to figure something else out. Um, this little box here I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. And then I just spray painted it white to match her little bookshelf and this little mat she already had. And then we actually picked this off of somebody's curb. They had put it out for trash. It's just like a little Disney princess um, crib thing and she uses it for her baby dolls. So that was free. <laughs> and... This little set here I also picked up off of Facebook Marketplace for a few dollars and then I taped off the tops because they're like a whiteboard material and I spray painted the wooden parts to match with her nightstands. This lamp was something that she already had. It came from Target. And then I also did a closet makeover for her that I am so in love with. The top part is super organized and functional and then the bottom part is like a little dress up area for her. So up here I already had these two bins and I think I got them from Kohl's a couple years ago as part of the back to school clearance. And then this basket I already had and I got it years ago at Target. These two, I think, are currently available at TJ Maxx. And then with her shelf and the um, closet rod, I just spray painted those to match her nightstands. And then these are all of her clothes. The hangers here are the little velvet hangers, and we got them from Home Goods. And then I put up this peel and stick wallpaper here to kind of like section it off and I really like the way it turned out. That's the Opal House brand from Target and it was surprisingly affordable. It took two rolls to cover all of that area. And then this little rug here is actually a bath mat. It's part of the Opal House brand at Target but I thought it worked well as just a rug in here. And these two containers came from Home Goods. She already had all of her dress ups and I just spray painted a tension rod to hang up a couple of them. And then in this larger one, she has the rest of her dress up clothes. And in the smaller one, she has dress up shoes and accessories. Um, this little bottle glass vase thing came from Hobby Lobby Spring Clearance. And all of the florals in it came from Target 
at the end of summer or spring clearance. And then the mirror is the one that used to be in Kinsley's room and I just used command strips to attach it in here. But yeah, that's where everything came from. She loves it. I get that question all the time. Does she actually use it? Does she play in here? And she does. She is absolutely obsessed. Um, I just cleaned her room yesterday, which is why it wasn't a complete disaster when I first came in here. But usually this room is trashed by the end of the day every day. She has been playing in here way more than she ever did before. So anyway, she really loves it. I really love it. And again, it just makes it feel like a completely new house to have these spaces made over. This room belongs to my six-year-old daughter, Kinsley, and can you guys believe that she picked out all of the design elements in here? I am still so proud of her. She created such a beautiful space, and I'm kind of a little jealous and wish that this was my room. Anytime that I film a cleaning video where I'm cleaning up my girls' bedrooms or folding their clothes or cleaning their playroom or anything at all that involves doing chores for them, I always get a ton of comments down in the comment section of people giving unsolicited and frankly unwanted advice for how I should be parenting my children, what chores they should be doing, and what responsibilities they have. And I just wanted to let you guys know that my husband and I do have chores and responsibilities for each of our children that we have deemed fit for their age range but I don't film them so you're never going to see them doing that here on my channel and when I am filming a video I always ask them not to do their chores so that I have the extra content for you guys so please just save yourselves the time and the hassle and don't leave those comments because they really are not appreciated It may look like I'm pulling out a lot of Kinsley's clothes to pack, but really I was just pulling out all of the clothes that she had that would be weather appropriate for where we were visiting. And later on, I was going to let her decide what specific outfits she wanted to pack. So please know that everything that you see that I pulled out did not get packed. She didn't overpack. I just wanted to make sure she had all of her options available to her. Can't control my body, 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 body. I will go ahead and give you guys a tour of Kinsley's room as well since I've never done that on my channel. I have done it in my Instagram stories and it's saved to a stories highlight, but I've never done it on my channel since we did this room makeover. And don't mind all of these clothes here. I just pulled out a bunch of weather appropriate clothes for Kinsley to bring on vacation with us and I'm going to let her go through it and pick out some outfits for me to pack but I can't do that right now because hers and Sawyer's suitcase is still in Sawyer's room and I just laid her down for a nap, so gotta wait until she wakes up. But Kinsley also has a lull bed. Our entire family is obsessed with lull and all of her bedding is also from lull as well as her pillows. 
These two pillows actually came from Walmart. They used to be on our living room couches and then I just moved them in here because I thought that they would go well in here. These ones were from Kirkland's. We found them on clearance for $8 for the two pack. And then this pillow we recently picked up from Target. It just kind of completed the space for her and she really wanted it. And then her throw blanket down here we actually found on clearance in stores at Macy's and she loves it. She's so obsessed. It is the softest blanket ever. It's so cozy. Her nightstands also came from Facebook Marketplace and I just spray painted them and spray painted the hardware same as I did for Sawyer. And these are the same lamps that are in Sawyer's room. I actually did Kinsley's room makeover first and these are touch lamps and as soon as Sawyer realized that she became obsessed and begged me to do two nightstands in her room with those same lamps so that's what we did. This is just the book that she's currently reading. Kinsley reads a lot. She's really good at it so I love to encourage that. She's always got a book over here. And then I recently just put this together for her. You're going to see that in a video coming up. Actually, it'll post after this one, but it's just got all of her makeup and hair accessories and stuff like that in it. And I found this little thingy in the stationery section at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. The shelf above her bed I made. And then most of the stuff that's on top of it came from either Target or home goods or Michaels I think. Um, a lot of it is not available anymore though because I just got it as part of spring clearance or general clearance fines and or you know if it's from home goods you can't link it but uh, all the decor up there came from those places. And then down here this is the toy box that I made her when she was an infant so she's always had that. And then I just put this little basket on top with her books, and I think this might have come out of Sawyer's room, and we just put her extra throw blankets in there. Over here, this little reading chair came from Target. We found it in store on clearance at our Target for like the back to school clearance, but I know it is still available online. And then we've had this pillow so long I don't really remember where it came from, but I just put that there. This was also an in-store Target clearance find months ago, and we just kept it. It's the same one that was in Sawyer's room, except Kinsley's is white. And I know it's still available online at Target, but I don't think they carry it in stores anymore. And then Kinsley picked this out at Michael's, and I love it. She loves it, and it is perfect for her. Yeah, she loves this little reading nook area right here, and she uses it often, <laughs> let me tell you guys. Um, also, her curtains we already had for, like, years, and those originally came from Target, I believe, but like I said, we've had them for years. The wallpaper back here I get a ton of questions about. That is from Wall Blush, and I do think that I still have an active coupon code with them. So if I do, I'll leave that in the description box for you. I think it was 15% off of a wall blush, wall blush purchase. <laughs> totally worth it though. We love this. We're so obsessed. We have wall blush in here and in our laundry closet and absolutely love it. And then over here, I just have Kinsley's mirror set up for her. We got this one with like the pink trim from Target during back to school time. It was only like six bucks. And then we put down some florals that we already had like this vase and this eucalyptus over here. And we got these on clearance at TJ Maxx because they were a little bit damaged. But yeah, there's Kinsley's room. She loves it. She picked out almost everything in here and I'm so proud of her. She's got such an eye for design. But now I'm just gonna keep going, power through, and I'll probably go clean the kitchen. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? For you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away before you make
up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss I have completely fallen in love with this Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser and I do think it is such an underrated cleaning product, but it makes me curious, are there any products that you guys absolutely love that you feel like you don't hear enough about? So all of this stuff down here are like snacks and things that we're going to be taking on our vacation. And I just got out this little tote bag here and I think I'm going to pack them into here. But before I do, I thought you guys might want to see what we're bringing. This is for the car ride and then also while we are there, we are doing a few days of Disney. So we'll be taking snacks and stuff in our backpack to cut down on food cost while we're there. But I just got this large pack of applesauce and this is the target brand it's super cheap for this and then we got a lot of cliff bars Derek and Sawyer both really love these so we got spiced pumpkin pie this is like a seasonal flavor that just came out and also iced gingerbread and then I got a large box of the minis, and these are crunchy peanut butter, and we'll all eat these. So these are good for quick breakfasts or for snacks, like I said, to take to the park, just to make sure that we're not getting too hungry, but we're also not spending too much money. And then, oh, I got another one of spiced pumpkin pie. And then these are some cups that I need to take back. I thought that we were going to take these with us, but I changed my mind. <laughs> and then here, I just got four of these single serve macaroni and cheese. It's like the frozen shapes. It's Anna, Elsa, and Olaf in there. The girls love these. So these would be like quick lunches or dinners for them. And then... I don't think there's anything in there <laughs> and here we got them these treats for in the car so hopefully they'll be good um, but they love these juice pouches well they're not pouches they're like bottles but these ones just have princesses on them and they are apple juice and then these ones are Mickey Mouse and they are fruit punch so they'll be able to drink those every so often in the car on the ride there and on the ride back and then they also picked out a couple of these small mini Chips Ahoy to take with us in the car if they are being good. So we got two of those. We do have more things that we'll be taking with us. They just aren't in here right now. They're already packed in the car. But I'm going to go ahead and pack these things into that tote, like I said. Oh, would you follow me? Oh, would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, would you stay with me?
Here is our new kitchen and I am still so in love with it. I think I did this makeover last month, but I'm still absolutely obsessed. So I get a lot of questions about the appliances in here. They all came from Sears when they were going out of business and I don't think that they still make any of these. I think they were probably Sears exclusives because I can never find them online. This little kitchen mat here came from Target. It's part of the Hearth and Hand collection and it's worth every penny of the $14 I think I paid for it. I absolutely love it. My shelf up here on the countertop came from Hobby Lobby. Originally, I found mine on Facebook Marketplace, but you can get this at Hobby Lobby. And I will have it linked if it's still in stock. And then up top here, this came from TJ Maxx. These came from Hobby Lobby Spring Clearance, and that came from Kirkland's Clearance over a year ago. These are all Ray Dunn, and they were found at either TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And then these are also Ray Dunn fall pieces. This little pedestal was from Michael's. But I love that shelf, and I cannot wait, cannot wait to decorate it for Christmas. I'm so excited. Kinsley wants to get a red jar that looks like this. It's a Ray Dunn jar that says either Merry Christmas or Santa's Cookies to replace this one for the holidays, but it's not likely that we'll be able to find one in our area, but hopefully she'll be able to find one because I know it would make her happy. The Subway Tile Backsplash is new and it's actually a peel and stick tile that I ordered off of Amazon and I love it. It was so easy to install. It completely changed the look of the kitchen and it was really, really affordable. I always get a lot of questions about this little pedestal. It came from TJ Maxx, so I can't link it. But everything on top of it came from Grove Collaborative, and I love it. This is their all-purpose spray in their glass spray bottle. And then this larger one is dish soap, and this smaller one is hand soap. And then I just have some hand sanitizer here as well. This wire basket came from Kirkland's a couple of years ago. They don't have it anymore, but this is what we use for our produce. And then these are also Ray Dunn, although I think I'm gonna probably get rid of them because we just don't use them. We used to, but then we got our salt and pepper shakers that are on the kitchen table, and so now these aren't functional anymore. They're just decorative, and I really prefer to keep everything functional. Our knife block set, I've had for a really long time. I think it probably came from Target or Walmart. The Happiness is Homemade sign back here came from the Target dollar spot, so it's just not available anymore. And so did our menu board. This little candle here, though, is still available. It's part of the Hearth and Hand collection for fall. And then this is our utensils crock and our spoon rest. Those are both Ray Dunn and we found both of them at Home Goods. I also always get a ton of questions about our coffee bar and I really love this space too. The little table here actually came from Home Goods, so there's no way to link it, but I found one that looks almost identical to it available at Target. And then we just have a Ninja coffee maker. This is pretty new for us still. I think we got it about a month ago. Our Keurig just crapped out on us and we had to get a new one. So we went with this one and we love it. The coffee sign here came from Kirkland's. Our microwave came from Target. Both of those baskets I think were thrifted years ago. There's no way for me to link them. I get questions about that a lot too. The coffee canister we actually recently found at Home Goods, I think. And then we found this Starbucks mug at Goodwill and we just use it for our coffee stirrers. The mug rack came from Pottery Barn, I think, or Amazon. It was a Christmas gift from Derek last year, so I'm not entirely sure, but I think it was probably Pottery Barn. And then these are just our everyday Ray Dunn mugs. Kinsley loves these ones. Beauty and the Beast is her favorite Disney movie. So she loves to have hot cocoa in this one and have Derek drink his coffee in this one. And then also, this is like a little joke. She found this for Derek and gave it to him. It's It says Papa on it. And she used to call him Papa all the time because Belle calls her dad Papa since she's French. 
and it would annoy Derek so badly, but she just loved it. She thought it was so cute and funny, so when she found this mug, she went bananas and was so excited to give it to him. I found one with my name on it, which I thought was pretty cool. It was just randomly sitting out this past summer. And then I think Kinsley found this one. It's pink and it says, hello, pretty. I found this one. It says, mommy, and it's got a pink interior. I really like it. There's a lot of mugs that say mom, but I like this one because both of the girls call me mommy. And then we kind of just got this his and hers one just to complete the mug rack, but now that we've started like actually looking for things, I kind of regret getting them because I don't want to like go overboard with the Ray Dunn, um, but it's okay. And then that coffee sign is also Ray Dunn and we found it at Home Goods. And then I made these two shelves. This is a Ray Dunn pumpkin teapot for fall. These two came from Michael's and I just keep tea bags in here, although I did find a canister like this that says tea. So I'm excited to take these things off the shelf and try and restyle it. We got this little frame, I think, at TJ Maxx for a couple of dollars and then Kinsley drew the picture in there. And we thrifted this candlestick, found this one at the Target dollar spot and I just spray painted them both. But yeah, that's our coffee bar. It will be changing soon. I'm really excited. Very soon, I'm going to be decorating this for Christmas, and I cannot wait. It isn't hard to tell what you were thinking, babe. Your thoughts are only getting louder. While you are up in space, I sit here by myself. In case anybody is curious about the totes that you see to the side of the table, that's actually all of our fall decor packed up and some decor that we took out of the living room when I did that makeover and it just needs to be stored up in the attic. So Derek hadn't had a chance to take it into the attic yet and that's why it was there. But don't worry, he has taken it up since and it's not cluttering our kitchen anymore. I did a makeover on our laundry closet probably a couple of months ago now and I love it so much. I do get a lot of questions about our washer and dryer. They are the Kenmore Elite series and I can never find our exact model. We got them from Sears when they were going out of business so I'm not sure if they just don't sell them anymore. Maybe they were a Sears exclusive but they're just Kenmore brand front load washer and dryer. And then I made the wash and dry stickers myself with my Cricut Maker. I love them. I think they add some character to the space. I also made this folding table up here on top of the washer and dryer. I just used plywood to make that. And I also made the two shelves that are in there. All of the wallpaper came from Wall Blush and I am in love with it. I think it's called Fiona is the print and it's just so pretty. Um, up here, this is just the laundry stuff that I use. So I have this 
um, laundry detergent pore spout. It came from Grove Collaborative, obviously. And I love the Grove Collaborative dish, or not dish, um, laundry detergent. So I just have a couple of refills of that back here. And then this Molly Suds Oxygen Whitener I recently started using for my whites. And I swear by it, it makes such a difference. That also came off of the Grove Collaborative website. I can't decide between these two Ray Dunn um, signs here, but whichever one we decide on, eventually we're going to hang it up in here. I think I'm leaning more towards this, but I just like the size of this one. And then my little trash can here came from the Dollar Store um, Dollar Tree, and I just put all my lint in there. And then I have this little anchor dish for my uh, dryer balls. And then I have another like glass pitcher up there where I keep extra dryer balls. And then all of the decor up there is also functional. It's all storing different items. And most of it came from Michael's spring clearance or Hobby Lobby spring clearance or the Target dollar spot. So I can't link any of it. It's not available anymore. But like I said, I always like to do these things on a budget. So that happens to me all the time where you guys ask me for something and I just can't find a link because it's not sold anymore. Kinsley wanted me to show you guys her Ray Dunn finds lately. She has been on the roll Dunn hunting for Christmas and she's found a lot of stuff and she's really proud of it, but I'm proud of her too. She found these little camp mugs. I think these are new releases from this year, but this one says hot cocoa and she got one for her and one for Sawyer. And then this one says tis the season and she got it. Oop, she got it for Derek. They all have lids on them. So she wanted those so that they could drink hot cocoa and coffee and water or whatever they want to in the living room without worrying about spilling it, which I just thought was so cute that she was concerned with that. She also got a bunch of mugs, as you can see. She found peppermint mocha, ho ho ho. This one says naughty on one side and then nice on the other. And the letters are red and inside is red, which is really fun. And then this one says Santa. So we're still on the hunt for Mrs. Claus, but she's got Santa in red. North Pole. Let it snow, tis the season, Merry Xmas, but we are still looking for Merry Christmas, and cheer. And then, oh, I think I might be missing one. Um, she has one that is like this, except it says Santa's helper on it. So it's white on the outside, but red on the inside. And then she also found this large dog water bowl. It says Santa Paws. Our dogs share a water bowl, but they eat with separate food bowls. So we do have food bowls also that say Happy Holidays, I think. Um, but they're just not over here right now for me to show you. And then she found this Santa Paws canister that she wants to put dog treats in. But we are still on the hunt for a red cookie jar or canister, whatever you call it. So she wants one that says Merry Christmas or she wants one that says Santa's cookies and that will complete her collection for this Christmas. We were hunting actually this morning when I'm filming this video and it's the first time I've ever taken her to an opening. I didn't want to just because the Dunn hunters around our area can get really serious but she has her heart set on one of those cookie jars so I took her to try to find one and it was complete chaos there was a dun hunter there that started cussing out somebody else and yelling at her and it gave kinsley a panic attack and we had to leave so i felt so bad for her it's not likely that we're going to be able to find that cookie jar this year but if you guys see any keep your eyes open for her because she really really wants one really badly
You will never believe it, but the day after I filmed this video, we went back to Home Goods and Kinsley found that Merry Christmas red canister that she was looking for. And she also found a couple that she didn't know she wanted until she saw them. So she is getting so excited to make a hot cocoa bar this year. And she keeps asking me if we can do it already. So when we get back from vacation, you guys better be ready for some early Christmas decorating videos because she is pumped. Okay guys, this is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed and that you got a ton of cleaning motivation here today. Don't forget to check out my description box for any links that you may be looking for, the link to my Instagram to go follow me over there, and for those DIY makeover videos that you may have missed. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one.